are you feeling anxious about what's going to happen? Have you been anxious around the elections, about the political situation or COVID or what's the economy going to do or what's going to happen with my money or am I going to even make money? What's going to happen with my health? And have you had all these questions that feel like draining, that feel like burden on your shoulders, that make you tired just even when you wake up and you just remember you will look at the news and you feel exhausted already? Hopefully today I'm going to share something that will give you additional tool to deal with these situation and to provide you with some sense of relief so you can focus on what is right in front of you on your life and you can be again more productive and happier and feel more ease regardless of what's going on around you. So what is this concept? This concept is not a new concept but it's I believe a great reminder for our situation and for COVID and political situation and all the things that are happening right now that are bringing um, to several of my clients even um, more anxiety or more concern. So as I've mentioned, this concept is brand not new. Uh, it's by Stephen Covey. And he talks about three different areas. One of the areas is area of control. As you can see here is a little person. <laughs> you can imagine yourself and imagine this bubble around you of all the things that you have a direct control over. It could be the food that you eat today, or it could be what you're going to wear today, or are you going to make the post about something today, or are you going to check the news today? Are you going to watch TV today? These are all the things that you usually have a direct control over. What you're going to think, what emotions uh, you feel. Some people might argue with me there, but let's, for the sake of our argument here, except that these are things that we can control. There are things that we may not directly control, but we can influence. For some people, it might be their, their feelings, their, or, or most people, uh, that we feelings just come, uh, feelings of anxiety, but we can influence them by using different set of tools whether they shift, go away, or if they become larger. So this exercise, in a way, is something that can give you a tool to manage your emotions and focus during the day and energy during the day. You have an influence over how much energy you have or what you're focusing on or uh, on the level of your productivity. You have an influence. And this could, tool could serve you. So what happens when we get overwhelmed with worry and the anxiety just grabs our chest or however it feels in your body uh, or your hands get, get wet with sweat or shaky or you cannot uh, or your stomach gets all uh, sore and crumpled uh, or so tight that you cannot eat or even drink anything. So this is usual that usually happens when we focus our area, our, our attention on this area of concern. As you can see, this is the little person here. There's a little area of influence and all this outside stuff that we cannot control and that we cannot directly influence is area of concern. And when we put our attention on this area of concern, then that's when we are going crazy with anxiety and stress because we cannot control it. Because look, where, we, where is our area of con, con, uh, control? For some people, it can be mini, 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 tiny thing. The area of uh, influence could be larger, but look at the area of concern. How many things are in our life and in the world that we cannot influence and that we cannot control. The more we focus on this area, it could be uh, to some level political uh, situation. We can, con we can influence it, but we cannot control it because it's way larger than us. It could be, is there gonna be earthquake today in California? 
some people are really worried about it sometimes. Is that something that we can influence? No. Is it something we can control? Not right now, definitely, unless we invent something. What else is in the area of concern that when you're thinking about it, you can just feel the stress level come up in your body? So the tool today is whenever you feel the anxiety coming up or the stress or your stomach tightening or your shoulders collapsing, kind of tightening too when you just feel they're sore, pause and pay attention to what are your thoughts focusing on? What are you thinking about? And is that what you're thinking about in the area of influence? Is it in the area of concern that you cannot control, you cannot influence? Or is that in your area of control? So for example, oh, I should eat better. <laughs> I don't know how much stress you get out of that. But uh, that could be in your area of control or influence that you can somewhat influence what you're going to eat, let's say by uh, having at home only healthy foods. If you cannot control yourself and you just uh, binge eat the ice cream, if you have it at home, that's why I don't have ice cream at home, because <laughs> sometimes I cannot control myself, but I can influence what I eat by what I have at home to eat. Does it make sense? So check in with yourself. Is the stress being caused by you focusing on things that you cannot control or influence? And if that's so, what else can you focus on instead that is directly in your control? What are the things that can make you feel better, healthier, or wealthier that you can directly impact? I hope this helps. Let me know what are your thoughts, feedback. Always welcome it. Take care.